Mmm, I have a big, refreshing glass of mouthwash. Ready to play this mouthwashing demo? I'm pretty excited. The premise of this game sounds absolutely terrifying. Uh, this should be like just a fucking fever nightmare dream. So let's go. I never drank mouthwash before. I've used mouthwash, but I haven't. Yeah, I haven't done that. <laughs> One of the few things I could say I haven't done. <laughs> yeah, long haul space freighter. Tulper. Yep, crew of five. Whoa! 382 days! Okay, so they're going like sub light speed. Man, ima imagine sacrificing over a year of your life to transport mouthwash. <laughs> and they're only 147 days in? They're like just on the first, like almost half of the journey. Damn. Did I tell you about my sleeping? The stuff you gave me does take me out for a kip, but not for long. Out for a kip. Uh, oh, that's British for sleep, I think. Yeah, I watched Red Dwarf <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> I'm only getting something like a few. Oh, wait, hold on, sorry. I forgot to recite the company guidelines. We do one of these every two months. But it's company policy. I'll do you one better. Pony Express bi-monthly psychological welfare examinations. Maximize your potential through a simple medical personnel guided interview. Please allow for no more than one hour of company time to conduct the survey. Phew. Really? <sighs> Fine. Sheesh. Everybody's saying sheesh lately. Sometimes you're a real piece of work, Captain. So the captain's going undergoing a mandatory one-hour psyche valve while they're out in space. And it's conducted by, I don't know if it's different members of the crew, but maybe Anya is like, you know, also has like credentials in like this, the psychology or counseling probably. Ah, oh, you wound me, Anya. If that's your professional opinion, do you think they'll still let me fly? Huh, so there's already concerns about... Yeah, about how he's doing mentally. Huh. Well, in my professional opinion... <laughs> she's like, nope. <laughs> oh, no. So that was like a memory, I think. We'll close that behind us. Polly says, lend a hand. Polly. Oh, is this the Pony Express's mascot? Yeah. Pony Express is a company. Uh, Tulpa or Topol is the name of the ship, I think. Isn't it a, isn't it a Tulpa? I don't know if it's named Tulpa or not. Maybe I misread that, but the yeah, Tulpa is like a being that manifests itself if enough people believe in it, right? Polly says rise and shine. A lot of motivational posters. Oh no. Wait. That's the airlock. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh... Oh, I have to... Oh, man. That's not good. You depressurize everything. Well, I mean, that door's closed, so it'll only depressurize us. Sure, why not? <gasps> Polly? This isn't a mascot horror game, is it? I don't think so. Hey, Polly. Why... Why, why the babies, though? Maybe there's something in Captain Curly's history. Like maybe he lost a child or something. I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. Yeah, he's still there. <laughs> All right. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Holy AI generative art. <laughs> there's too many legs, AI. 
too many. Skillet bark. It's a spider poly. Uh, I think we're blocked on this side. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. I'm just going back the way I came. The voices. Oh, that's locked. Nope. <laughs> Two months after the crash. Okay. Anyone else would do the same. Swansea. We ain't touching the damn cargo. The hold's locked down for a reason. The only thing worse than dying slow is not getting paid. Priorities. But it could be something useful, I think. <laughs> we already know it's not. Oh, no. Could be what? Hopes, dreams, and marzipan. Marzipan's some kind of like spread, right? I think so. Yeah, it's like a jelly, right? I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Damn, Swansea has, has some mighty chest hair. You don't have to. If it helps us survive, it's worth it. Man, Pony Express bosses really aren't chill at all, huh? Come on, a quick look won't hurt. Yeah, dude, if you're stranded, like I don't know like what state their their current supply situations in, but if they're discussing breaking into the into the stock that they're transporting, then yeah, things are probably pretty dire. How exactly is this group therapy committee planning on getting in there? Oh, right here, boss. You're looking at the meanest swing of the regional junior baseball team. Straight up nearly corked a kid once. I can take the utility axe and... You were goddamn born fully corked. What? God, that's enough, Swansea. There has to be an in-case-of-emergency way inside. And if I remember correctly from the safety protocols, the door should have an alternate access code. But it can only be uncovered using a code scanner device. And only the captain has access to the scanner. Of course. Go ahead and ask him about it then. Maybe he'll sing you the blues too. We don't need him if we find the scanner. Get the code, open the hold. For better or worse, I'm captain now. I'll figure it out. Right on. Acquire the scanner. I wonder if this is emergency foam. I think it's probably gotta be. Yeah, it's probably what it is. Good thing we had extra medical mattresses. The floor isn't that bad. What happened to their quarters? Oh, maybe like some of the ship got. Polly says, are you working hard or hardly working? Are you working hard or are you hardly working? Oh, Jesus. They actually sell plushies of this guy for kids. Hey, buddy. Daisuke? Hopefully I said that correctly. I'm not sure. Uh, looks like it'll be soup again for dinner. At least you got something. You want to rock, paper, scissors for the chicka doodle? How much food do we have left? I'd say like four months-ish. Uh, less than the remaining air supply, but we can make it last. In theory. We'll be starting to poke new holes in our belts pretty soon to pull that off. Man, my mom will straight up stuff me when I get back. I'll look like Swansea. We'll have a rad story to tell, though. They might even write articles about us. We could be on TV. Hmm? Ugh, it'll impress the ladies, too. Hell yeah. The real problem is, is us running out of toilet paper. Fatal stuff, man. We should leave that part out for the press. I'm sure you can find something around here. 
Just use the, just use Polly. I don't know though. Wiping your ass with something that talks. <laughs> Probably the weirdest thing, but one of the weirdest things you could ever do. Yeah, we'll go talk to the captain and Anya. What do we got? These are all we have left. Pick up painkillers? Sure. Do I have some? Yep. Oxycodone. Extended release. The good stuff. Extended release? Nah. No extended release, please. Smash that sh No. <laughs> okay. We're not. Pills are fucking bad. Alright? They're just bad. Hey, buddy. He doesn't want to keep still anymore. And what about the painkillers? He... It hurts him so much. I can't stand the noise. Yeah, I can see he's looking at us right now. You did make it through nursing school, right? Pony Express sure does know how to cut corners. Nothing else. Uh, I was thinking. We never went back into the cockpit after we dragged him out. It's almost entirely foamed up. Yeah, yeah it is emergency foam. Kind of a miracle Curly didn't end up fossilized. But it could still be unstable. I just think... Oh, it's the only place the code scanner could still be. Oh, otherwise, we're shit out of luck. All right, I'll take a look. I know you'll figure it out, Jimmy. You're so capable. All right, calm down now. <laughs> it's too much pressure. Oh, uh, also? Well, uh, I was hoping you could help me with the captain. Curly. All right, sorry, it was Curly's medication? People have to be worth their titles. Don't you think, Nurse Anya? I yeah, forget I asked. I'll take care of it. All right. Yeah, we already grabbed it. Oh, no. What'd you try to do, man? You're like almost a nugget at this point. How's it going, Cap? Oh, we can give him painkillers. I don't think he wants painkillers. Yeah, he's in a state, isn't he? The fuck you do, man. Yeah, he probably just wants to die. I mean, that's probably how I would be feeling at this point. But use painkillers. His mouth is closed. Oh shit! I see. Hold still, yeah. I don't like this any more than you do. You know what they say. Pain is how we know we're still living. Whoa, Jimmy. <laughs> Come on, man. Ugh. Yeah, I don't agree with his bedside manner. At all. But, hey, whatever. I can't bear to listen. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, she ran out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm messing with your job. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and play. Uh, here comes the train with you. Apologize, sir. All right, this is depressing. Let's get out of here. Hey, you all right? We don't have a lot of painkillers left, but you still want to keep? Why do you think he did it? Does it matter? What answer would make you feel better? I have to believe that our worst moments don't make us monsters, Jim. I have to, even in his case. He tried to take us all down with him, Anya. The way I see it, there's two reasons to keep him alive at this point. Guess the important bit is that we all agreed to it, for one reason or another. I'm still feeling nauseous. I need a minute. 
All right, no problem. Uh, scanner? I don't know the layout of the ship, so I'm gonna have to, like, guess. Should probably leave that door open so everybody can check on him. I don't know why they are keeping him alive at this point. I'm not entirely sure. Seems like it would be more of a kindness just to let him pass. But, I mean, Jimmy's assuming the role of captain now, I guess, you know, in as far as rank goes. So maybe they were just keeping him alive until they figured out all the logistics. But it's been, they, he's been like that for what, two, did it say two weeks or two months? I think it said two months. So, yeah. I'm not sure. Thank you for helping me with Curly. Did you find the code scanner? I hope it's still there. The cockpit is covered in foam. Yeah, 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 I'll get it, I'll get it. I'm looking around so much. Captain access only, code scanner required. Use light to reveal code. Okay. Yeah, cockpit's that way. All right, cool. Swansea. Oh, shit. That's not good. <laughs> cockpit's that way, but it's all foamed up. Majority of the ship is blocked off by emergency sealant foam. I do miss the showers. Oh, that's why. They don't have their crew quarters, right? Utility, cargo, medical, cockpit. Yeah. Do they have communications at least? Maybe their communications are down too. So, but these guys being, uh, taking a year to go make uh, deliveries, like I said at the beginning, uh, I have to assume that they're, that they're sub light. So also, so this is like a hard science fiction story, you know, not, not like fantasy sci-fi. Um, I have to assume that their communications take, like if, if they're halfway into a one year journey, it's going to take months to get a signal to anybody, even an emergency beacon. So yeah, that sucks. Nice onesie. Ain't you supposed to be figuring out the great cargo robbery? Why are you standing here? None of your goddamn business. Everything's my business now because of Curly. I don't want to keep having this conversation. I'm working. Blue collar fools can't afford to stop working, even when the machine does. <laughs> Go figure. I'm keeping this crap heap from collapsing on all of our sad asses. And before you start, I'm taking a break. Don't you worry. I ain't going over my break time allowance. <laughs> you keeping Tasuke out as well? He's supposed to be a help to you. You think I'm letting that knucklehead in here after the crash roughed it up? Our so-called nurse nearly skewered her leg when the vent hatch was open during maintenance. I warned her, but it's in one ear and out the other. Tasuke needs to learn somehow. There's probably a relatively competent mechanic in there somewhere. That teeny bopper thinks only with his downstairs long nose. <laughs> huh? What? I've never heard that expression. Downstairs long nose. Just like my useless kids back home. No, I ain't letting anyone mess around in here. All right, Swansea. That gut blocks the way. Dude, you gotta let me through. There ain't no other way. Oh, cockpit. There we go. I didn't see the door right here for the cockpit. Yeah, it, was, it says it in big letters. <laughs> oh, there's a the scanner. That was pretty simple. Pick up code scanner. Do I talk to you guys all first or what? I talk to both of you. What do you guys think we've been shipping? If it's spare parts, maybe me and Swansea can repair the ship and we can get out of here. Right, Swansea? I think from the state of the ship that I'm seeing, I don't know how you would repair all this. I mean, the foam you could probably, like, rip out to give you access to different places. Well, no, it's going to be full. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think. I don't. Yeah, I think this boat is just cooked. Absolutely cooked. Quit your yapping. Well, get on with it. It's all you. I want to duly note it that I had no involvement in this. What is, what is your plan then, man? Like, you're complaining a bunch. What is your actual plan? 
Uh, and nobody's bringing up alternate, you know, alternate plans that could actually work. Yeah, let's just do this thing. Code scanner. So, oh Jesus, four five one seven. All right. Pretty big car. <laughs> Holy shit. He's like, food? Is it food? He was right there when it opened. Empty. Dragon breath, mouthwash. Oh, oh God. Brutal. Does it at least have alcohol in it? It's a big ass cargo hold, man. You know it has alcohol. It does look pretty yummy. <laughs> Better get used to it. Mm, damn. It's... This is... It's mouthwash? Unfucking believable Oh, there's gotta be an ocean of this stuff in here. I can't even see the floor. This is what they had five people hauling for over a year. All of this. F for mouthwash. The sugar content probably offsets any potential as a disinfectant. Oh, it's got sugar in it. So that's carbs at least. So yeah. You could maybe live for a little while off of it. I don't know. Disinfectant. What do you... Let me see that. 14% ethanol. <laughs> I suppose we'll smell good at least. That's right, kiddo. You can bet your ass on that. Damn. Yeah, he, he's like, yep, ethanol. Drink. What are you doing? Stop it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Woo! Shut up. I'm just an old codger taking care of his dental hygiene. You hear that? That's the sound of 13 years of sobriety popping like a cyst. A <laughs> glorious, magnificent, red hot cyst. Good riddance and cheers. To Captain Curly, here, here. Guess anyone could get seriously blasted off of this stuff. Yeah, 14%. <laughs> That's a lot for a mouthwash. Yeah, and kill you in the process. Oh, God, this can't be real. I... There's no way. Now we can go out in style. Dasuke, come here. Anyone ever teach you how to drink like a man? Oh god, and they're all gonna end up drinking it. And then things are just gonna get super fucking weird. Like all of them being just drunk, malnourished, you know, uh, PTSD and all of it, you know? Like Captain Curly and stuff. From everything that's happened. You got a cake? That's pretty cool. And mouthwash. 
We should have some. Why? It's mediocre at best, obviously. Sometimes you can only get the subpar stuff. That's what makes the really good stuff. Well, good, right? Why bother? Hey, we all tried to escape. Didn't work out for any of us. I've thought many times, is this what peace feels like? And is it good enough? If I'm being real, it certainly isn't the best. So all you can do is try to make my life one I'm not trying to run from all the time. Sometimes I'll be promoted, buy a house, fall in love. But other times I'll just have some awful fucking cake with my friend. Right now, that sounds pretty brilliant, yeah? So, if you'll do the honors. All right. Well, let me go find a knife. Should tear into it, man. Should be a knife somewhere. Take a look around, yeah? All right. I can't tell if, <laughs> if this is real or not. I'm unsure. Cockpit, medical. I would think, like, if there was a galley, you know, but I don't see any galley. Or maybe it's back. I guess it's back behind the lounge. Oh, maybe it is there. Kind of have a feeling like we're meant to go this way, though. This being all open and whatnot. Cockpit? Doesn't really make sense. Unless somebody is in there and used a knife on themselves or something. It's kind of what I have a feeling is what happened. Where we're going to find a knife at. I hope not. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Super. That ain't a knife. I don't know if we could use that to cut a cake with, but I'd certainly try. Kind of, I don't know why when I see this eyeball, I think immediately that it's Curly. That it's Captain. Can't use it here. Okay, no combat. Gotcha. I thought maybe we would have it equipped. Where's the rest of the crew? That's my professional opinion. Doesn't account for much, does it? Also my personal one. No, oh, even better. Great. Ah, great. Wonderful. I'm not doing this to... Did you even consider what this would do to us? To everyone? 
here's a thought. Hmm? Some animals do better in cages. Others start gnawing their own legs off. The rest, well, they... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking awesome. Freaking fa I can't wait for this to come out. Super fantastic. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Yup, yup. I've had a wish list for a little while now. So, but I was super hyped when I saw that the demo was out. So, yeah, we'll be playing this as soon as it, uh, as soon as it releases. A beautiful game. It's very immersive. The sound design was great, especially when, uh, we were feeding the oxy to, to the captain. So, very cool. And a very frightening premise as well. Yeah. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed it. Go check it out. Uh, wishlist. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Lone, and this has been Mouthwashing. <laughs>